Yo, 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 what to do, YouTube? Willie Mac, yo, back with another video. As you can see, this is going to be a game day vlog comparison. Shout out to you, Become Elite, and Matt Sheldon for doing this collab with me. If you guys haven't seen our last video together, go check out the link in the description down below. It's going to be on his channel as well. But yeah, I have a game day today around 9 p.m., and he has a game, and we're just going to put it together and show you guys the comparison of both. So please make sure you guys like and try this video. It's going to be very sick. Let's go. And Akio converts. Peeping my moves, we don't play by the rules. Telling your story, you say it's the truth, but I see no proof. Turn on my shit, make it blow off the roof. Giving the party a boost. Had to go crazy, I'm back in a booth. Talking my shit, I got some. What's going on everybody? Uh, I'm really excited to be part of this collab. This is the first time I've ever done something like this where I kind of take somebody else's videos or give videos to somebody else and uh, just kind of work on a video collectively with somebody else. So I'm pumped for it. And then, you know, William, I'm a big fan of the videos you've been putting out, big fan of the content, big fan of your story so far. So I'm really excited to, uh, to see how your season goes with Valor FC. Um, anyway, my name is Matt Sheldon, guys, if you don't know me, I'm a professional footballer here in America playing for FC Tulsa. We have a game day today, we're playing Sporting Kansas City too, so this will be my full game day vlog, how I prepare, what I eat, and uh, how I just get ready for the game. So yeah, uh, welcome to my portion of the video, I guess. So I woke up around eight o'clock in the morning. I like to sleep in as long as I can in game days. I, I really don't sleep in that late. I went to bed at like 11 o'clock last night. So that's a good nine hours of sleep, feeling, feeling great. And then once I woke up, usually every single morning, I just immediately get out of bed and head off to training. So game days are like the one day and my off days where I can just chill, hang out in bed, do whatever. So I just kind of lied in bed for an hour, just on my phone, watching TikToks, going on Instagram, doing stupid stuff. Uh, so just lied in bed, had a really relaxing morning. It is now like 9.15 right now. I'm gonna have some coffee and make some breakfast. And I'll talk a little bit about like what goes through my head with the meals uh, once I sit down and have breakfast. All right, guys, I'm done getting ready for my morning. I'm all freshened up. I'm just gonna have myself some supplements right here. Super vitamin B complex metabolism support. And I need to make sure I got my best friend with me because this is just gonna get me through the day. But for right now, I'm just gonna chill, answer some emails, go through my YouTube, get all my stuff done for the morning. And then I'm gonna go downstairs, get some breakfast with the boys. Good morning, bro. Good morning, bro. Game, Game day. day. Game day, Let's bro. Go. Okie dokie, Here is, uh, here's breakfast. I have three eggs with some chipotle cholula sauce, a lot of salt and pepper, um, kind of like over medium. I got a big glass of ice water. I have some peach flavored Greek yogurt. I have, well, how many is this? Eight strawberries and a cut up orange and then a latte. So I like to have a big, big breakfast. Um, and then like a medium to small size lunch and then a very small snack um, before the game. So that's like how it kind of goes. I like to go big, medium, small. Um, just because I, I think when 
I have more of the food in the morning, it gives me more time to digest. I, I rarely get that feeling where I'm like, oh, I'm feeling really full, like there's a lot of food in my stomach. So that's typically what I do. Um, and this is a very, very typical breakfast for me. Usually I would have a banana, but I'm all out of bananas this morning. So what can you do, you know? I almost forgot to, it is 9.30 in the morning. So first meal of the day, 9.30. Big meal. Mimi's back in California, and she's been back in California for the last, like, whoa, easy Gucci. She's back in California, and she's gonna be back in California for the next, actually she gets in tomorrow night, so it's just me and the Goochster. Ooh, what are easy, nice, be nice. It's just me and her today, which is gonna be great. Stop the cap. All right guys, I'm back from breakfast. Um, right now, I'm actually just going to be going through a little bit of a mobility, stretching uh, sequence I do every single morning. And then I'm going to do a little bit of a recovery as well. Um, so just to make sure my legs are really flushed out, everything's feeling good for tonight's game. Right, guys i'm just chilling right now it is about 10 45 11 o'clock and we're going to be going downstairs to do a little stretch with the boys and just chill out for a bit but right now my boy tony we're just going to be watching the game who's playing right now uh, denmark vs republic. republic euro so we're going to watch this hang out for a bit and then i'm going to catch you guys when we go downstairs what's a gal wow bro that's a sick that's a finish bro so now I have like an hour, just over an hour to uh, to chill before I have to leave for a little pre-game meeting. Um, so this is gonna be a very important part of my, my game day prep. I have to call my bank and sort out some issues I've been having since I've been trying to open up like a, a Become Elite credit card and Become Elite checking account. So yeah, game day prep, you know, call on the bank probably be put on hold for an hour or so and uh, dealing with that. Fun stuff. Call will be monitored and recorded and your voice may be used for verification. 22, it took me 22 minutes, 22 minutes later. <laughs> and finally, I talked to like four different people and I finally got what I needed to get done. But it's just annoying. Like that's, I think that's the one of the worst parts of being adult is having to talk to customer service from different companies and everything. And the worst part is like you go through, you talk to so many different people and you finally get to the last person and they can help you in like five seconds. I just don't understand why more stuff like customer service just can't be done online or it just can't be done easier. But first world problems, I guess. All right, so what time is it? Okay, I have, I have like 30 minutes before I need to leave so I'm, I'll probably just, I'm gonna probably throw something on the TV, like The Office or something, watch that for like 30 minutes, maybe answer a few emails, do some stuff for Become Elite, and then, uh, and then yeah, head out of here for, for the team meeting. Plus two skips your turn, that's for sure. Because you have to pick Is it? It, it does. I never played that way. Okay, bet. I don't mind that actually. Why is it? Uno, 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 uno. uno. uno, uno. Bay! Fuck! Bay! Bay! No, no, no. It's not that good for this. Bay! You actually is. All right, guys, so for lunch, um, we have here some chicken, potatoes, pasta, and then some greens and broccoli and a cauliflower there, really healthy. And also during lunch, we got a letter from the mayor here, Brian Bowman, and just wishing us luck in this uh, eight-game tournament, the kickoff here at Winnipeg, and it's pretty cool. We're going to call Jadavani right now, see what he's up to. What's going on? 
I'm, blog, I'm, I'm blogging right now. What are you saying? Um, go vlog right now. Am I? Am I? Am I on YouTube right now? You're gonna. You're gonna be on YouTube right now. Tell them. Um, yeah, I was just gonna say, me and JD are kind of working on something for you guys, a new program, something that's gonna definitely help you guys. So, talk a little bit about it. Yeah. So as of right now, um, if we, if you ever look at our DMs. There's a lot of people who have a lot of questions and a lot of them are very repetitive. And um, we can help you, but it's, it's usually not enough. So what me and Will are pretty much doing, we're gonna be creating different things where if you open it, let's say you wanna come to the United States as an international player or something and you wanna play division one, two or three, we're gonna break it down to you, be very specific and uh, things that are really going to help you on your journey, uh, things we wish we knew. So we're putting it all in a blueprint so all your answers can be solved. And as we get better, as we rise in the professional world, new things we learn, we're just going to be creating more to help you guys. So I'm excited about it. I hope you guys yes, sir. ever we announce it. So, Let's and it also be sure to like this video and hit yes. the subscribe button. Oh boy, William Mackey. Yes, sir. Yes, sir. But yeah, I brought my lunch up so I can just eat in my room, relax, call my family, and then just watch the England game. And then I'm going to take a nice nap before we have to do our, you know, pre-game meetings and then head over to the fields. But also, I just want to talk about this whole experience and how things have been going for me this past couple of months. Um, it's been very big, honestly. I'm, I'm very excited. And one thing I realized is, you know, I put in so much work in college, you know, I knew that... I was going to be a professional like inside my heart i knew this is something i wanted to do but like once i actually got here once i got to this level it was almost like a restart you know like things are getting more tougher um more demanding and like it's what i wanted it's exactly what i wanted so like I'm, I'm happy i'm doing very well and the best piece of advice i can say you know for somebody that wants to be professional is just um really understand the amount of work that you have to put in really understand that um it's not all sunshine and rainbows at the professional game it's tough it's very demanding you get nervous sometimes, you know, they they test your confidence and all these things. So you just got to be ready for the challenge in everything you do. But I've been enjoying myself. Hopefully I get to start today and I just continue to keep doing my thing. Um, I love how I don't have to do any homework, man. It's just so blessed. I can just relax, work on editing videos, talking to friends and stuff like that, work on side businesses, and then just start focusing on what I got to focus on. The best advice I can give you guys, you know, watch this video. You know, number one, be consistent in everything you do. Be consistent stay on top of your game you know what i mean and even if you don't see progression right away you don't see results right away just stay consistent because it will come one day number two is be disciplined be disciplined you know what you have to do to get where you want to get so do all the right things and do them over and over and discipline yourself don't fall backwards don't fall into no trap you know don't fall into any negativity stay positive and just be disciplined and number three enjoy your journey this is something that i learned actually quite late um I was always stressed about the outcome, the outcome, the outcome. I want to do this. I want to become this. I want to do this. But I wasn't focusing on the journey. You know, the journey is what takes you there. So once I started to kind of focus on the journey and ride the wave, um, things started becoming easier. I started seeing the light. And it was just, it was amazing, man. Just enjoy the journey. Have a smile on your face. And don't stress too much because at the end of the day, you know, nobody knows what's going to happen to them. You just got to enjoy yourself, enjoy the journey. And whatever happens, happens. And it'll happen. Okay, it is currently 11 o'clock in the morning. I'm driving, I have to drive like 20 minutes down to like where the team apartments are because we have a little pre-game meeting where we kind of go over the starting lineup. We go over kind of like our tactics and like our formation and kind of like random kind of like other stuff like that. And you do a lot of analysis of the other team. You do a lot of analysis of like the other players and you're, that you'll be probably going up against and their style of play and how we want to come out. It's, it's pretty short, it usually takes 
between 20 and 30 minutes and then we'll I, I'm guessing we'll pick up lunch because we've only really had one home game this whole season but I'm guessing we'll pick up lunch there and then come back uh, back to uh, back to our own apartments and, and chill until we have to leave for the game so just headed down there right now the only thing that sucks is it's like a, a 20 minute drive for me because I live kind of like closer to the city and the team apartments are pretty pretty far south so heading down there right now okay we finished our uh, team meeting can't really show you a ton of that because we kind of just talk all tactics and everything um, but after the team meeting we got our, picked up our little lunch which is like this little salad bowl we got some avocado in here some eggs some chicken and a lot of lettuce got a little piece of bread and then got a little fruit cup so that's gonna be lunch I'm gonna drive home right now and then we have what time is it it is 12 30 12 30 in the afternoon right now so I think we have about four hours just over four hours before you know we have to leave or I have to leave and get to the stadium so go home eat relax a little bit and uh, just prepare for the game let's do it let's go Okay, almost one o'clock in the afternoon. Um, I'm gonna eat this, and, and like I said, now it's like my time to, to chill. So I'm probably not gonna eat this entire salad either. I'm probably gonna eat like half of this. I'll eat the whole bread, and I'll eat the whole fruit cup as well. Hey, can you get down, please? Yeah, I know, get down. So eat this. Can you chill? Hey, hey, are you serious? Get down. No, no, get down, get down. Gucci, I'm gonna s slaughter you. <laughs> get down. Okay, now it is my time to just shut off my brain, relax, watch some dumb TV shows, maybe take a little bit of a nap. Um, I'm gonna do this for like two hours. It is 1.30 right now, so until about 3.30, just do absolutely nothing. I got Rick and Morty on the TV. There we go. I got Rick and Morty on the TV right now, so I'll watch that. Gucci's gonna take a nap as well. And uh, see you guys later. All right, guys, I just woke up from my nap. I feel super refreshed. So right now I'm gonna go downstairs, get some dinner, and also do our uh, team meeting before we head out to the fields. Bro, he's a legend. I love him so much. He's like shit. I actually love him though. He's good, man. What's your team looking like? So right now, we're going into the semifinals for the Euro, so I'm That's just making bad. some subs, you know? Like, putting players that I think are gonna get me goals, clean sheets, things like that. So I'm on the new it's like uh 3 30 in the afternoon just kind of like waking up i probably i probably slept for like a a good hour and then other than that, I was just like watching TV a little bit, going on my phone, hanging out. Gucci's still sleeping. She just sleeps all day. She's, you know, just mooches off me. Um, I now am just kind of, again, I have like an hour and a half till I want to leave. I do like a, the pregame routine of like taking a shower. I like to shave, clean up, look a little bit more fresh, which, you know, then pick my outfit for the, uh, for the game day drip, which I always get, I usually always have the most drip on every team that I go to. So gotta, gotta figure out the outfit for today. That takes like 30 minutes or so. Um, but other than that, again, it's just kind of chill. I really don't like to do much. I don't like to like do a lot of work for Become Elite. I don't like to do much activity. It's just kind of like chilling, waiting and resting. And especially today, because today is supposed to be at kickoff at seven o'clock at night. It's supposed to be 97 degrees Fahrenheit. And that doesn't take into account the humidity so i think like the real feel will probably be in like the triple digits so that's going to be tough so i'm definitely going to be hydrating a little bit more uh, but just resting and 
preparing for that. So here we go, look at that, 97 today. I actually lied, it's uh, 7 p.m. We're looking at 95 degrees, so not too bad. But look at the, uh, the real feel, focus. 102 right now. Woo! But the humidity is actually not bad. It's only 38%, so could be worse. Dang, that's hot. Okay, I'm feeling as fresh as I can feel. I shaved, or I trimmed the beard down, shaved a little bit, showered up. It is 4.30 in the afternoon, which means I got 30 minutes. So I'm gonna iron my shirt for the, uh, for the game, and then just start packing up. I mean, I, I really, most of the stuff is already at the stadium, or most of the stuff that I already need, but I just need to bring my boots, toiletry bag, and like a few other, I like to bring my own compression shorts, so uh, just gotta bring those compression shorts as well, but time to iron. Inside my boot bag, I have my boots, shin pads, step socks, and Pactera Athletics uh, compression shorts. So that's what's in my boot bag. And then in my toiletry bag, I got my hair gel, lotion, stuff like that. All, all the normal stuff in the toiletry bag. So I'm gonna put these two things in my backpack. I wanna make a quick cup of coffee. And then I will be uh, all set, ready to go. Finally starting to get a uh, uh, not a little nervous, getting a little anxious, you know, get, getting the butterflies and everything. I'm excited. This is our only, our second home game of the season, even though this is our seventh game of the season. So I'm really excited to be back home in front of our home fans under the lights tonight. It's going to be, it's going to be good. Uh, even though it's going to be <laughs> hot, 97 degrees, it's going to be boiling out there. But I've been drinking water, I've been having like some electrolytes, I've been eating right. So uh, should be. You know, I'll feel as good as I can, despite the weather. All right, I'm making a quick cup of coffee and then heading out. So when it comes to my uh, my pre-game coffee, I don't like to add any milk in it, just because I, I don't like the way milk, even if it's lactose-free, sits in my stomach uh, before I go out and run tons and tons of miles. So I literally, just for the just for the uh, pre-game drink, I just have espresso. So I'm gonna put it in the mug, it'll stay warm for a while, I'm gonna bring it and I'm just gonna sip on that. <clears throat> <clears throat> and then I'm just gonna sip on that espresso shot like as I'm getting changed, as I'm in the locker room, and then pretty much I'll finish it, you know, when we still have 30 minutes or so before we head out to the, uh, the warm up. And I find that's a good amount of liquid in my stomach. It's not gonna upset it, I feel good. I actually didn't even have the, uh, the third snack, the third meal today. I'm feeling pretty, pretty full, like not full, but like that perfect level of like I'm feeling satiated but I'm not feeling bloated, so I'm not gonna eat anything more. Um, yeah, I'm excited. Gonna leave here in a few more minutes. All right, see you, Gooch. Wish me luck. You stay here and uh, protect the fort. Okay, five o'clock in the afternoon right now. I'm driving to the stadium. The stadium's only like seven minutes, eight minutes from my uh, apartment. So it's really, really nice, really convenient driving in. Um, and then once I get in there, I really like to shift to, to game mode. So I'll get a few clips on my phone, um, but pretty much I'll see you guys uh, after the game. I'll show some highlights. I'll do a, some analysis for my touches and everything, but I really like to kind of focus in, leave the camera away as soon as I kind of get into the locker room and get into my, uh, my routine. Even if we fall, we will rise up and we follow the path that we believe in. No, we're not gonna stop until we reach it. Oh, all you need to know is that we're holding on. We rise up from the dust and clean my throat. Si 
All right, guys, I'm back home right now. Just going to freshen up, eat some dinner, and just go to sleep. Um, that game was amazing. We played very well. Probably one of the best football matches we've had, you know, in terms of playing and keeping the ball. Um, almost had a chance, should have scored my opportunity. But, you know, I played very well, making runs behind, being a nuisance for the opposition team, for the defenders. And it was good, positive, really good result. Another 2-0 win, clean sheet. And we just continue to move forward, recover, and move forward. But right now, quickly, I'm going to show you guys our game analysis. You guys can look through it and hopefully learn something from it. The home side tonight is Valor, and Rob Gale makes three changes to his starting 11 that was so successful in the 2-0 victory over Halifax midweek. In our Mikhail, Fordyce, Akio, who was the second goal scorer in that victory, Rhea, Dyer, and Kasher all moved to the bench. A perfect record, two wins from two. Fourth place, Atletico Ottawa. This is a great way to start the game off. Raf wins the ball, we pressure in, and both forwards are making runs in behind. It didn't go through, but it was a really good way to start it off. Next up here, Drew does a really good job to win the ball in the box, and then we uh, counter press forward. Feds drives and drives, keeps driving up, there's no pressure on him. And then slips me right through there on a good run. A bit too heavy, but a really good counterattack. Next up here is their chance on goal. Really good header across the box. Um, Kevin gets fouled, I think. They score, but the ref calls it back, which is unbelievable for us. And, uh, you know, we use that to our advantage later on in the game. But as you can see here, Becky heads it across. You see Kevin try to go through, and Kapoor hits him down. And it's a foul. So next up here, we win the ball. All of us, we work hard defensively to win the ball back. We press in, and then we play it out. I'm making that run. I want it on my left side, but Kevin puts it just kind of in behind me. Lack of communication, but uh, it was a really good ball otherwise. Next up here, I get the ball down the line. Cross it in, Andy with an unfortunate touch. And again, we're, we're, we're probing, we're probing. We're almost going to get our goal. Another great play by Andy and I. Finds me into the channel. Really good run. I get there. Do the cutback, get the touch in before the defender does, get fouled, and there's no penalty, which is unbelievable. But, you know, we keep going forward, and our goal is really going to come. And as you can see, I press back, work back on the back press, put him in an unco uncomfortable position, and then they move backwards again, which is really good for our shape. And here's our goal. Rav drifts into the middle space. Steph finds him in there really good on the half turn, smashes it home. He's been working on that shot for weeks now in preseason and stuff, and you can see it means a lot to him really helps us out we're up one nil now and you know we just contain the game and we try to put it to sleep but again great finish near side post all right here's another opportunity on goal raf wins the ball covers so much space this game richie on the cutback beats his defender and he drives forward he drives forward i've also made the run into the channel there but he has a shot off and it's all good here Rao tries to find a pass into the middle gets taken away and then they get hit us on the counter attack but as you can see our numbers are coming down for hoven gets a good cross in and their forward just misses the net. Here's another opportunity on goal for them, Verhoeven, with the cutback. Feds almost wins that slide tackle, but he gets a cross in, and, you know, we all collapse in, win the ball, and clear it out. And here's another one of our goals. Jared, with a great run into the channel, comes on, is a nuisance for the defenders, it runs the ball into the box. Easy foul, easy defending, and we have ourselves a penalty. So Moses Dyer steps up. He's already scored the first penalty in uh, the recent game. And very calm and collected. I knew he was going to score. Sends it in the corner, and we're up 2-0 just like that in the 92nd minute. Now on comes the new Brazilian, Rafael. Free kick in the 94th minute. Great strike, almost scores. But yeah, a good game. Great result for us again.
going on, guys? Uh, so for the highlights from the game, I'm going to kind of just let it run. I'll pop in for a few of my clips, but yeah, I'm just going to let you guys kind of enjoy enjoy the game for the most part. Fourth official, Jose Lara. And here's Corrales in some space. Low ball into the box. Good header away. Shot coming in. It's hit the bar. Great effort there from Coutinho. The first effort of the match. Here he is. Was an excellent strike. You see it right on on frame in that upper post. The attack from Sporting, and here's another look. The giveaway in the midfield, but Roger Smith right there, calm, composed, lower corner around Sean Lewis, and that's all you. Need. FC Tulsa would dearly love Anna Beffa a goal just before half time. Coutinho now slips the ball through. Could this be the chance? Da Costa! And Da Costa scores! He checks the positioning of Brooks Thompson. Low and away. Excellent finish. So this play, my winger is inside, tucked in. I'm seeing that he's kind of stuck inside. Tons of space. I'm overlapping right now. And immediately as I'm looking up, I see three players back post. I see this big, tall, sporting Kansas City player near post. And my only thought is whip it in and try to beat that first man. So I go back post. I think it's a great ball. Um, just unfortunate not to get on the end of that one. Spin and turn from Suarez now. Suarez wants a second before half time for his team. That's a good ball. It is to Costa. Good save from the keeper, and it's gone in. Also, before half time, here's another look. The ball played through by Suarez. Starts off with a great little turn. Very similar goal. So, this is one of my favorite plays from the game. Just watch the center back, two touches into the center mid. One, two, three touches back to him. Two touches back to the center mid again. Turns, three touches right in. One touch. Two touches out wide to me. And then as soon as I get it, once again, bringing it down and immediately seeing 3v2. And my whole thought process is there's an advantage here. Just whip it in hard, whip it in fast. Everybody's running to their own goal and almost get a deflection for an own goal there. So really, really happy with that play. And then here, it's this is kind of like a, a little bit of a counterattack from Sporting Kansas. As soon as they make that touch, though, I'm right here. I know I can win this ball. I think it's about 60-40 in my advantage, but I have to go through this ball because I'm leaving that space and leaving my guy. So I go through, run through the guy and the ball, um, clean tackle, little counter attack. Joaquin does a nice little Meg there. I think it's Meg. Plays it over to uh, Dario and uh, right here, earn the penalty he kick. goes down, it's a penalty. Suarez has won a penalty. Caden Pierre with the tackle. Suarez has hurt his uh, right leg there already got three, Suarez then comes up, right footed, and scores easily, Dario Suarez with the third for FC Tulsa. Earning himself a penalty kick, comes up with confidence, looks like right down the middle. This I think is the best play from the game, hands down, just beautiful one-two combinations right there between Joaquin and Rodrigo, just class and that play was actually featured on 433's Instagram everybody was talking about the goalkeeper and the pitch but at least uh, at least it made it there that's it's so cool to see that and that is a really good goal talking of Roger Smith he plays a delightful ball into the box not allowed to be part of the opponent's wall here's the free kick towards goal it's a brilliant strike and a brilliant goal well, how about that for a free kick late on? It's a fantastic strike. Look at that over the wall. Nothing for Lewis to do. And that is Tyler Freeman's second of the night. Take a bow, that young man. It's FC Tulsa 4, Sporting KC2's 3. And in these last few minutes, late in the second half, they've been able to claw their way back. So that was the game. Absolutely exhausting, and uh, it definitely got pretty sketchy at the end. But a win's a win. You know, we got three points from this game. We we're going to learn from it, learn from the mistakes, move on. But uh, but great win. I just feel so like just dead, just tired, dehydrated. So I got a uh, body armor light watermelon flavor. I have another water. I've already drank like three of these. Um, during the game, after the game, everything. We got some, looks like some fajitas. Coochie, <laughs> I swear. Come on, get down. We got some fajitas. So I'm gonna have fajitas, good proteins, good carbs. Looks like we got chicken and veggies and beans and rice and some uh, hot sauce. 
So I'm gonna have all of this, drink this, and uh, I might have a little, little protein shake or something as well on top of this, depending on how much this fills me up. But it is now 10 o'clock at night exactly, so. Good, yeah. The game was, uh, I'm just, <laughs> my mind's all messed up. Um, the game was good. I mean, it, it sucked to have them come back at the end. I mean, it would have been so nice to close that out four to one. But uh, a win is a win. Three points are three points. Take, take that, you know, take that win, move on. We got training tomorrow as well. It's gonna be a little regen session. We have to do some COVID testing. Training session on Friday, and we're back at it at home again against Louisville on Saturday. So quick, quick turnaround. Whew. I am exhausted, but uh, but happy, very very happy. I think uh, I just checked the standings. I think that puts us right now in third place in our conference, which is good. We need to be top four in order to make playoffs. I mean that's still a very very long ways away, but uh, uh, it's it's good progress. And if we win again on Saturday. I mean, that's, that's a back-to-back -back wins like that. We would be five and three. That would be, we'd be sitting pretty good. So uh, yeah, I'm gonna take a couple melatonin gummies because I can never sleep after games. So a couple of these um, helps me. It actually gets me a little tired by like 11. And then I'm probably gonna be lights out asleep, hopefully by like 11.30, 11.45. I always struggle, like it's always tough for me to fall asleep. I just keep on replaying the game, especially after a loss, it's really, really hard for me to sleep. But melatonin definitely helps me a little bit. And then uh, I also am gonna read. So like I'll watch TV for like another 30 minutes or so, go on my phone, talk to Mimi, talk to my parents, um, watch the highlights of the game and stuff like that. And then I'm gonna go read for like 30 minutes, get into bed get into like a dark space, not like a <laughs> mentally dark space, but in just actual physically dark room. And uh, just with a little reading light, read a little bit, get tired, the melatonin hopefully will kick in and uh, have a good eight, nine hours of sleep. Whew. Um, but anyway, this was the, uh, the game day vlog. I hope you guys liked it. Um, William, really, really pumped to do this uh, collab with you. All the best with your channel and uh, best of luck again. Hopefully you had a good game day as well with Valor FC. Uh, yeah, all right guys, peace. All right guys, thank you so much. That's gonna be it for today's vlog. Hopefully you guys enjoyed it. Very, very good to come out with a 2 nil win, top of the table, everything's looking smooth, and we just gotta focus on what's next. And again, thank you so much, Matt Sheldon, for doing this collab. Really good game comparison of a pro team in Canada versus a pro team in the States. I'm really happy we got to do this, but please make sure you guys like and subscribe both our channels and stay tuned for more videos. Thank you so much, guys. Make sure you stay determined, driven, and disciplined in your goals every single day. Williams out. Peace. Why you be hating and peeping my moves? We don't play by the rules. Telling your story, you say it's the truth. But I see no proof. Turn on my shit, make it blow off the roof.